First of all, I want to highlight the text box that's going to contain our text. I'm going to change the font style to Arial. I'm going to increase my font size to 40. Anywhere from 32 to 40 would be a good size for your text. I'm going to color mine green and bold it. Now, you don't have to pick green, but you want to pick a color of the text that's going to offset the color of the background. So now we're going to press enter. Now to indent, we're going to press our tab key. Our tab key is going to indent a half an inch. So we can show that Intel Pentium is the processor by indenting it. So now we're going to press enter. We're going to type number of cores. When you indent, you're showing that the line the line above below is dependent upon the line above so it's like continuation so we're going to press tab again we're going to type duo and in parentheses i'm going to put duo saying that we have two cores on our processor so now we're going to with that selected i'm going to change i'm going to click on the after intel pentium Change my font size to 12 so I have a, just a little bit of space between my two bullets. Now I'm going to click on my Format Painter to copy that formatting from the one textbooks to, text box to the other. Now I have the speed of the processor, which is 2.3 gigahertz. I press Tab to indent the 2.3 gigahertz. My cache size. I, when I got to the second line, I pressed tab again to indent that to show that that was the cache size. So you always want to indent if the second line is a continuation of the first line. We're going to finish up this uh, slide on our next video.